Okay, so I'm going to start in MATLAB, and we are going to, uh, to, to code this up. So here I have, uh, I hope I'm pretty consistent in what my variables are called. I basically have just some random x values, and I have some b values, which are 0.9 times x plus some random noise. So here I should probably have done this a little bit more carefully. I should have probably said uh, a equals 0.9. And then I would say b equals a times x plus some random noise, okay? And uh, if I don't have any outliers, I could do a pretty good job of approximating the true slope with least, I should say this is really important. If this outlier wasn't here, least scores would do a great job if I had Gaussian white noise. If I had like white noise measurement error, but I had a lot of data points and no outliers, least scores would do a really good job. But with the outlier, it's going to fail. Okay, so good. And now here, what I'm going to do is at the very last data point, I'm going to drop a massive outlier. I'm just going to put a huge outlier uh, in the data. And so I'm going to plot this for you. Okay, so I'm going to run this. I know I'm going to plot the data. And so you see here these, uh, these kind of blue dots are the data with, with a small amount of noise. And this red dot here is this massive, massive outlier, okay? And we're going to see when we do least squares that this is going to tilt the whole distribution, okay? This blue line here is the least squares estimate if there was no outlier. If you remove that outlier, then the least squares estimate's pretty good, okay? But now what we're going to do is we're going to compute the L2 fit, this kind of least squares solution with this big outlier. Okay, and again, in MATLAB, this is really easy. This is just the backslash command. You could also do pseudo inverse. Uh, there's lots of ways of doing this. I talk about this a lot in chapter one on the SVD. So I'm going to run this, and that adds a data point. And now you can see that my, sorry, my legend's messed up, but you can see that my least squares fit now that I have this outlier is really wrong. I mean, it is the whole, the whole uh, fit is getting tilted down so that I'm, mitigating the effect of this huge squared error between that because of that one outlier. Okay, so that one outlier is messing it up for the whole rest of the distribution in least squares. Okay, but this is solvable. This is a fixable problem, and this is really kind of neat, is that you can also solve for the uh, solve for L1 min solution. And we're going to do that again using CVX, this convex optimization toolbox. You'll have to download this and install it in your MATLAB, but it's pretty easy to do. So we are going to introduce this, uh, this variable, this uh, kind of L1 minimum version of, of A, and we're going to minimize the one norm of the error. Okay, we're going to basically over, we're going to minimize over A the one norm of the error. Okay, and I'm going to run this. It might take a minute. It always takes a minute to run CVX. Yeah, that was pretty fast. And I hope it plotted my new fit. Perfect. Okay, so now when I, inst when I swap out my two norm for a one norm, and I do the same optimization, now I get this white line, which is almost perfect. It is almost exactly where it should be. So it really has mitigated that effect of that, that single outlier. So that single outlier plagued my L2, my least square solution, this red curve, it was terrible. But when I use an L1, uh, when I minimize the L1 norm of the error, it's extremely robust to this big outlier and it fixes the distribution back to where it should be. Okay, so minimizing, so, so you can add this L1 norm, you can minimize the L1 norm of the error instead of the L2 norm, and you get this incredible robustness to outliers. So that is something everybody should know, this is absolutely critical, is that using the L1 norm makes you much, much more robust to outliers. And this is a problem we have in real world data. Our data is almost never perfectly clean with Gaussian white noise. We almost always have bad measurements and outliers and corruption and things like that. And so this L1 norm is kind of becoming more and more and more popular uh, as we get into real data problems and data modeling. Okay, thank you.